Hello Kerbonauts again and welcome to the fifth episode of Realism. In this one we need to get pretty much as much science as we can and this is actually going to be a two-part mission just because of how long it took. So we're starting off with, uh, well we've got asparagus staging now so we're making the most of that. We have um, you know, the fuel lines that we can use to set it up. We've also got some struts which is useful and uh, yeah we can basically build quite a bit bigger rockets now. Um, although we haven't really unlocked any of the wider diameter parts. So, the aim of this is to try and basically unlock as much stuff as we can. Anyway, you can see, um, we're going reasonably well so far in the launch, and our aim today is to go to Minmus and basically get as much science out of Minmus as we can. Because Minmus has biomes now, so there is um, ample opportunity to get science, I guess. Anyway, um, we're just taking it up now. It's a bit scrolly. It doesn't really uh, want to point in the direction that I want it to because we're sort of out of the atmosphere now, out of the most of the atmosphere anyway. Um, and that means that we can't really rely on the fins there that we have. We have to use the pod torque, and there isn't very much of that because there's only one small pod. That's one of the disadvantages of building things, um, you know, with lots and lots of thin parts rather than just using, you know, less thick parts. Anyway, we're still getting up reasonably high though, and uh, it's going reasonably to plan. So there we go, we've got a decent apoapsis there, and this thing should have plenty of delta V, because we've got asparagus staging in the launch stage, and asparagus staging in the sort of transfer and lander stage, and the launch stage actually gets us part of the way through the transfer as well. It just goes to show how much more efficient asparagus staging actually is. Anyway, the reason that we need so much science at the moment is because we don't want to go too much further um, in the solar system until we've really got all the science out of what we have right with us, if that makes sense. And um, Minmus is quite a good place to get science from because it's actually easier to get to than the moon. And it's, um, you know, you can probably get just as much science from it. So, the reason that um, we're going and getting all this science is so that we can build up a Remote Tech 2 satellite array. Now you can see that red dot there, that actually um, that actually is uh, where the KSC is obviously, but that's to show where we can transmit data from. And we need a link with satellites, a line of sight link with loads of satellites to build up a network so that we have coverage so we can send probes out. Because what we don't want to do is just send Kerbals everywhere the first time we go there. I mean, it's reasonably safe to send Kerbals to the moon because you can make a rescue mission. But trying to make a rescue mission to Juno or something is a lot more difficult. We need to know, we need, you know, we need to launch stuff there first, maybe gather some signs from there as well. But we need to do that before we send Kerbals, otherwise it's just dangerous. And that's one of the things about the series, as I've said. I'm kind of trying to keep it real. Um, kind of try and make it... Um, you know, don't take too many risks, because obviously I know I probably could manage a Juno mission or something, but in real life you wouldn't risk going to Mars with people. I mean, we haven't even done that yet, before we send probes there. So that's what we're going to do, we're going to try and treat it a bit like that, and do that kind of thing. Um, so our aim is to try and build up stuff that will let us build up a satellite network. And what do we actually need for that? Well, we need some probe parts, basically, first of all, for the probes themselves. You know, they need solar power, and um, they also need antennae, obviously, so that they can actually transmit data. And the other thing we need, or the other thing I'd like, it's not necessarily a necessity, but uh, that was a mouthful. I'd quite like to be able to launch the probes up using, um, using some kind of shuttle, something reusable. Because when you're launching, you know, five, ten probes into geosynchronous orbit, you don't want to have to launch a rocket every time, that's not, again, it's something that we wouldn't do in real life. You try to do it with like some kind of reusable thing. Because it's better for the environment, it's better, um, you know, it's, it's more economic in the sense that it doesn't cost as much as well. And that's something which I think will make will be interesting when KSP gets um, sort of updated more. It'll be interesting to see how they implement cost, because if, you know, you have a reusable spacecraft and you bring it down onto the launch pad and you recover it, do you then get money back from the parts that you've got there, or does that stay as a craft which can then be modified? I, I don't know. We'll see how it works anyway. That's going to be an interesting thing for the developers to get their heads around, and it's something I'm looking forward to, because it'll add a sort of new dimension to the game, especially in, obviously, career mode. 
but uh, yeah, that's what um, that's my concern at the moment is making sure that we're not too inefficient with money and all that kind of thing. So as uh, you know, as the Kerbal Space Program director, I guess I've decided that we're going to try and do it with some kind of shuttle or something reusable anyway, something that uh, we can use over and over again. And I've got some good plans for that. We'll need to see what parts we have, though, because obviously we've got constraints of how many parts we have. We may have to go to the moon as well after we've been to Minmus just to get the extra signs, but I'm not completely sure, and we'll just have to see, I guess. Um, but yeah, we'll see what we can do. We'll do our best. And yeah, that's pretty much it. The other thing I'd like to do, actually, is set up some kind of uh, space station. And I want to set that up with a science module and set it up so that I can actually use the science module as a command place like you use the KSC to control um, to control stuff. I'd like to set it up so it can actually do that because you, you can do that and it's kind of cool. Um, so I'd like to have one of those that's made, and I could maybe even use that as one of the big links, you know, it could be out a bit further, or out in geosynchronous orbit at least, um, and it could be used to link to, you know, other planets like Juna or EVE. Although we probably won't be going to EVE anytime soon because we're not going to want to go unless we can return, unless we're not taking Kerbals. And that's one of the other reasons why we need to get all these probe parts. But anyway, we're coming down for our landing now on Minmus, and you can see it's going fairly smoothly so far. Nothing has really gone wrong, and uh, yeah, everything's working. So we've still got Jebediah, as I said, um, as I've said quite a few times now, and he's going to be the one going out to get this science, so here we go. Uh, we're going to plant a flag, do an EVA report, all that kind of thing. And yep, there's the flag. Couldn't remember what I called this one, actually. Maybe this one, because I was live streaming this at the same time. I was getting ideas from the people watching, so I think I left this one for a minute or two to actually think of something to write on it. But you guys who, by the way, did come to the live stream, thanks for coming along. It makes recording for me a lot more interesting to have people to interact with while I do it. Um, you know, so it, it's a lot more fun than if I was just to sit down and try and record stuff on my own. Because, you know, you guys can suggest stuff, it gives another point of view on what I'm doing, it's kind of interesting. So if you haven't seen me live stream, I'm doing, trying to do it maybe once or twice a week when I start, you know, when I do a big recording session. Um, but yeah, that's what I was doing, and uh, yeah, we made another ice cream reference there. Anyway, um, now that we've got that, it's time to do an EVA report and take a surface sample as well. Although I do decide to sort of jump up in the air first because I completely forgot about that. Um, yeah, we do the EVA report and that gets us, um, I think it's 40 signs, and the surface samples were the whole 150 signs. So that's pretty good, anyway. And then we get back into the rocket and we also do the material bay, material lab um, assessment, and that's a whole 125 signs. And then the mystery goo containers are worth, I think it was around 50 signs each. We only do one of them because we're going to save the other one because we are going to move about on Mimus. We're going to try and get as much science from this mission as we can. So now I decide to head over to the lakes, um, basically the big flat bits, the ice lakes of Minmus. And I try and just do the same thing again, basically do an EVA report and do a surface sample, take a surface sample, maybe plant another flag as well. Um, and I can use that, obviously, to, um, to get a bit more science. And we're going to probably land a couple more times after this. That's why this episode is so long, or that's why we're going to have to split it into two parts. So, yeah, that's what's going on. Anyway, as I was saying before, I would like to set up this satellite network, and I'd like to do something that's sort of reusable, whether that'll be an SSTO, if that's possible, or maybe just some kind of shuttle that's taken up with assistance from rockets, but the main shuttle itself and the engine, so it's just a fuel tank that you're taking really, and SRBs. Um, you know, maybe that'll be how it works out, we'll see. Um, the other thing I'm interested to see is whether point .23, point .5 breaks save compatibility. Usually Squad says and tells you when it will break save compatibility, and they haven't said anything yet, but that doesn't mean it won't. So if it does, then I'm either going to have to do some clever save file editing, because I doubt they'll change anything too major, and um, I think it should still be possible or I'm going to have to stay in this version of the game, or I'm going to have to move on and just 
forget the series and I don't really want to do that. So I think I'm going to, if, if it does break save compatibility, I'm, I should be able to solve that problem by, um, I guess, entering, you know, copy and pasting stuff from the save files. Anyway, ice, ice, baby. Yep, we're on ice and that's what we're doing. I hope the surface samples are edible. And there we go, now we've got to take that surface sample and do the EVA report as well, and that is another 150 signs because we're on Mimus's flats, um, and the EVA report as well. Then we can get back in and uh, get ready to go, and go to the next place basically. So, thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked the video. Uh, I'll see you in the next one when we continue this mission. And uh, you can see there we've got four bits of data already. So yeah. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, then give it a thumbs up and whatever else, and have a nice day.